live from the body mansion, I believe again, or some other place, I don't know. Some other mansion. <coughs> it's the Insane Board Game Freak Show with your host, Midi Insane Board Game Freak. Yo, come on, let's go, everybody. <laughs> Was it Madame Rose in the carriage house with the poison? Monsieur Burnett? Monsieur Burnett in the trophy room with the horseshoe? Or was it our old friend, Colonel Mustard, who done it? In the library with his trusty service revolver? Or whatever. More suspects. More room. More weapons. In this episode, Clue Master Detective. The board game. Quick, to the board game room. Wait, 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 wait. That's it. All right, here we go. It's Clue Master Detective, the board game. All right, fine. The board game. Because I know you love it. So anyway, you're going to get more weapons here. You got this gun here. Don't, don't point it that way. Jeez. The knife. Don't, don't point it that way. The dagger, whatever you want to call it. You get the horseshoe. That's new. The poison bottle is new, and that's basically it. Um, and then, jeez, how many freaking suspects are going to be in this game? Look at this. The whole freaking parade over here. Da -da -da -da. Jeez. Uh, anyway, so I thought it was enough. Da -da -da -da. Okay. You get more rooms, you're gonna get lost in this freaking place. Look how big this board is. Damn. There's more rooms for there. <laughs> it's gonna be all go beyond the closet doors there. Alright, so anyway. Jeez, look how long this car is, man. Who drives that thing? The big whale? What the. Alright, so anyway, you're going to get the confidential, case file confidential envelope, the cards, the room cards, the, the weapons cards, and the suspect cards, the character cards, okay? So now, uh, you're going to get the dice here, alright? Cool. And, um, that's it, this big large board, okay? So now, um, let's get on the instructions and get this show on the road, okay? All right, so the game should be played, you know, the same way as regular Clue, but different because there's more stuff. So here's your detective notebook that you'll be getting in the game, okay? Um, I think you all start here, and then you make your moves around here in the spaces. And then here's a room. And if you want to go from room to room from here, you're just going to go in from, you know, from this room, here's a room, and then you can enter out through there and then go around like regular clue okay so now the instructions to the game go as follows okay all right so the object of the game is that um mr body of body matter has met with uh grave misfortune and he's been murdered by a person again. How many times is a guy gonna get murdered? What do you do? Come back from the dead? Hey, you're not dead yet, so we're gonna get you another time. Yo, come back to New York. We missed you. <laughs> get it? No. All right. Anyway, so uh, what do you call it? Just kidding around. So it's New York humor. So. <laughs> Even if you're a veteran, clue finder, okay, you'll have to exercise, um, what, what the hell am I talking about here? 
You're going to set up the game. Each player selects a token representing a player marker representing one of the suspects. All player markers are played in the cloakroom to start. So you're all going to start in the cloakroom. All right. And regardless of the number of players, the murder never occurs in the cloakroom. It's the 13th location. But what the hell is the 13th location? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like a hidden uh, room, like like in far and beyond of like existence or something, or out of space. All right. So anyway, yeah, they killed Mr. B Mr. Peabody for a second time and dumped his body out in the outer space. Right. He's in orbit. All right. I think my brain's in orbit over all, all this craziness. I forbid it is, but anyway, it's it. <clears throat> so. Regardless of the number playing, bring out all eight weapons and place them together in, in, this, in the spot off the playing board. And you'll learn um, when to use them later on, okay? So you're going to sort the pack of 30 cards in three piles. Um, okay, so you're going to sort all the character cards out, okay? You get some new character cards. Sergeant Gray, uh, Madam Rose, uh, Professor Plum. You're not a new character. Get out of here. Uh, jeez, um, M. Brunette, okay, uh, Miss Peach, and that's basically it, so, now, you're gonna get some new weapons, which I showed you before, the horseshoe and the poison bottle are pretty much the only new weapons, so, poison bottle, all right, the knife, you get the lead pipe, the revolver, all right, the horseshoe, the wrench, the candlestick, and the rope. All right, so now the new rooms are going to be, um, I don't know, the courtyard is the new room. Uh, I, I think the library is because there was a study in the last um, Game of Clue, original Game of Clue, the trophy room is new, I don't know, you get, anyway, you get the dining room, I'm showing the rooms anyway, so the studio, the gazebo, um, the kitchen, the billiard room, the fountain, the, the drawing room, and if you don't find this mystery out, oh well, back to the drawing board, <laughs> conservatory, and the carriage house, okay? So now, um, you're gonna shuffle these up, okay, which they are already. Now you gotta, um, turn them over and just, or blindly just take one out and not look at them and then just put one of each category, rooms, weapons, and suspect or character into this envelope and you're gonna put it down uh, I guess in the cloakroom or something like that. So, or wh wherever. So now, um, that's it with that. Now each player takes a sheet from the notebook, detective notebook pad and folds it in half to keep the information secret from the other players. And if you wish, you can mark on the pad all the cards that you're holding in your hand too. Okay. So each player rolls a dice. Play will proceed to the left and the high roll goes first. So, in the words of the greatest master detective of them all, Sherlock Holmes, the game is afoot. Okay? Alright. So, gameplay, aside from its additional suspects, location, and weapons, the Clue Master Detective game includes a feature not found in a clue in a regular Clue game. It's the Snoop Spaces, okay? Those squares are uh, marked with a spy glass, a magnifying glass, Okay? Those are going to be snoop spaces, okay? Now, um, before you begin to play, be sure to read the section below. Oh, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about uh, how, to, how to do your snooping. <clears throat> it's the insane board game freak show with your host. Your host. Your host. Me, the insane board game freak. Oh, come on, let's go, everybody. All right. What are you laughing at? I am. I'm your host. Anyway, moving your token, okay? 
On each turn, you're going to move towards, into, or through one of the lo 12 locations by uh, rolling a dice, uh, using a secret passage, or a combination of both, okay? So if you roll a dice, you move that number of spaces either horizontally, vertically, or um, forwards or backwards, but not diagonally, okay? You may change direction as many times as you want in your roll that uh, will allow you in the space that you rolled. However, you may not re-enter... Uh, the same square more than once in the same turn and you may not re-enter the room um on your same turn you gotta wait a while and then enter the room again some other time so you may not land on a square occupied by another player and if your dice roll would land you um there by exact count you must stop on one space behind the other player or when the one of the spaces around for example here there or there or there or there or there or whatever so then that's that Okay, so counting on counting the occupied space as part of the roll, uh, you move the total number of spaces rolled. That's it. So um, you can't jump over the other tokens. All right. Uh, and uh, that's basically it. So secret passages. Now these locations are connected to the drawing room and conservatory, library, and kitchen, basement, stairs, and garden walk. Now if you're... In any of these spots at the beginning of your turn, if you wish, you can use the connecting passageways. Uh, announce that you're going to do that and then move your token through the location that uh, ends on the passageways. Okay? So, um, combination now. Um, you may also use a secret passage as a part of a roll of the dice. So, roll and move your token into the location where the passage starts. Move through the passage, counting it as one space, and then exiting out the location at the other end. Uh, and you can either stay there or complete your move by exiting the amount of spaces that you have left in the dice. So that that's a new feature in the game. Now, uh, when entering or leaving a location, you do not have to land in the location by exact count. You do not count a door as a space, and you may pass through a location on your turn, counting it as one space. So however, you may not leave a location if you have made a suggestion in that turn. You may not re-enter a room at the same turn, like I just said before. All right, so um, now snoop spaces, okay? The snoop spaces, um, there are nine on the board marked by a, a spyglass, okay? And a magnifying glass that looks like a magnifying glass. I mean, it doesn't look like a you know, meatball hero. <laughs> All right, as part of your move, you may land on one of these spots and snoop on an opponent. Announce which player you wish to snoop on and then draw one of their... Um, cards, okay, uh, sight unseen, you know, w without looking at them, and you know, look at it now, and mark what you've, what you've learned on your detective notebook sheet, and give the card back, okay, if you have not used up your, your dice roll, continue your move, and keep moving on, our you know, the amount of spaces that's rolled on the dice, making a suggestion, once you've entered a location, you may and should make a suggestion in order to learn what cards your opponents hold. Process elimination time. To do so, um, you move a su suspect token, one being used by another player on a spare uh, one from the, clo the cloak room, and a weapon of your choice into their location. You may, of course, name your own token as a suspect, and now suggest that the, nu the murder was committed in that location by that suspect with the weapon. So, for example, I suggest the crime is committed by Miss Peach in the gazebo with the with the poison. Okay, so um, extra clues on making suggestions. Uh, you may, if you wish, make a suggestion as an accusation on that same turn. And uh, after entering a location, you may only make a suggestion. To make another suggestion, um, you, you you must wait until another turn, and then you know when you're in a different location or some uh, time after that, your next turn. To re-enter that location, um, you most recently left. Okay, so you may not forfeit or skip a turn to remain in that particular spot. So you may make a suggestion that includes a weapon or a suspect um, token that's already in your location. If you you do not need to move a weapon or weapon token in that place, leave them there after your suggestion. Do not move them back in, uh, where they were uh, before you move them. So if another player moved your tokens to another location in order to make a suggestion, on your next turn, you may either move out of that location in one of the usual ways or may make a suggestion from that location. If the latter, you do not 
if the, if the ladder you do not roll, whatever, <laughs> you do not roll a dice or move your token, okay? There is no limit to the number of suspect tokens or weapons that may be in one location at the same time. Proving a suggestion. Beginning with the player on your on your left, all right, you're going to um, make a suggestion. Uh, if another player... <clears throat> um, be, beginning with the player on your left, make a, you make a suggestion. If, if he or she has any one of the, the cards mentioned in your suggestion, um, their hands, um, you know... They're going to hand you that, that card. Um, if they have more than one of the cards that you asked for, then they select which one to show you. Okay, so you're going to look at the card, mark the information on your detective notebook, and then return the card. If you've been shown a card or not, move on to the next player and make your suggestion again. If, if uh, that person holds one of the t three cards in your suggestion, they show it to you again. If uh, they hold more than one of your mention, then uh, they select which one to show. Proceed around the table asking each player. If none of the other players ha has the cards you ask for, uh, you may either end your turn or you may make an accusation. So making an accusation. Um, now, um, when, 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 you've, when you think you solved the mystery, you may... All right, fine. I'll read you the quote. They have a quote here. Okay. When you have eliminated the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth, Sherlock Holmes. Okay. When you think, when you think you've solved a mystery, you may on your turn make an accusation. Announce that it was suspect, whoever, in the location, wherever, with the what, weapon, whatever. Now, look at the card in the case file envelope. If you're right on the, all three counts, okay, who done it, where, and how, you win. If you're wrong about any of the cards, put the cards back into the envelope with without letting anyone else see them, okay. You, um, you you've lost a chance to win, and you take the uh, no more turns, and uh, you, you know yourself, and then um, you still have to you still answer suggestions made by the remaining players, and others may still move your token into locations that. When they make suggestions. So remember to, to make a suggestion. You must be in the location you name. To make an accusation. You may name any location. Without actually being in that place. So strategy hints for the super sleuth. Don't forget to snoop. Especially when your dice is large enough to. Your dice roll is large enough to. Snoop and enter a location on that same move. Okay. Um, making suggestions. You may want to name one of you, or more of your own cards in order to gain information or mislead your opponents. Proving a suggestion. It is possible on one turn to be um, shown all three cards. However, this is not an advantage because all the players heard you make your suggestion and everyone who will uh, know that those three cards are not in the case on file envelope. Uh, this is another reason, you know, you want to include one of your own cards in your in the suggestion. Your detective notebook. Be sure to note what you've learned on your detective notebook. You might you may find it helpful to put it in the initials of which players showed you which cards. Sneaky move. If an opponent's token appears to be heading to an important location on your turn, you may want to include that suspect in a suggestion. In order to move him or her away from the, lo the that location, winning the first player who correctly names all three cards in the case file envelope wins and lays the cards face up on the table as proof and says, "Read them and weep again." <laughs> and that's Clue, Master Detective. Now let's go see what I think about the game. All right, so final thought. I like to win this game. Wow, 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 wow. This game's pretty cool. It's just like Clue. You know, more rooms, more weapons, more suspects, and you get the snoop spaces, which are cool. You get to take a peek at other people's cards. And, uh, you know, that, that's basically it. They stay out the passageways and stuff like that. 
Uh, there's really nothing else to talk about. I mean, I used to play this a lot with my sister, my mom a lot. You know, um, you know, same thing with the regular Clue game back in the day. And uh, I like this one better. It's a little bit more, you know, than, than regular Clue, but it doesn't really matter. To me, Clue is Clue. You know, I mean, there is some more different ones that, that are out there that have different twists and turns to it. You know, how to play the game. You know, different rules of the game, which makes it cool, too. But um, other than that, uh, it, it, it's a good game. I like this game that's, you know, I got it at thrift shop for a few bucks. So, you know, complete. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you find it, pick it up. If you're a Clue fan, if not... Uh, leave it there. That's it. What can I tell you? Uh, so anyway, so, <clears throat> but, you know, um, it's, it's a, it's a big board, you know, and it's got a lot more, a little bit more to do to it, you know, but it's, it's, it just, you just play it like basic clue, except for just a few more different things or ways to play it. And that's pretty much basically it. Well, that's clue master detective, the board game. That's it for today. Everybody looks at like this game is over. Board game freak out.